Hey, what's up, guys? Another Gears of War 3 beta gameplay here. And, uh, I know I say and uh, a lot. You know what? Get over it. Can't help it. That's just how I start up my commentaries. Anyways, let's, uh, damn, I say uh, a lot. Alright, so I just wanted to tell you guys what the schedule is for the beta. Now, the first couple of days or weeks or so, when you had the VIP code, you were allowed to play on all the maps and all the game types that were available to the beta. And those included Team Death, Match King of the Hill, and Capture the Leader. And the maps included Thrash Ball, Checkout, Trenches, and Old Town. And what they did for the Bullets on 24th, they're going to have Team Death Match on Thrash Ball and Checkout. On April 25th to May 1st, that they're going to have Team Death Match, King of the Hill, Thrash Ball, Checkout, and Trenches. Now, that that's not that bad. Like, they add in a game mode. And then they add in a map, so I, I kind of like that. From May 2nd to May 8th, they're going to add Team Deathmatch, King of the Hill, Capture the Leader, Thrash Ball, Checkout, Trenches, and Old Town. So basically, from May 2nd to the 15th, you're going to be having every single map, every single game type, and hopefully you can get every single character you can. Now, I've been reading more about, about uh, Gears 3 from the beta and uh, potential things you can get like uh, all the unlockables and stuff like that um, I'm sure you guys already know about the flaming lantern and all that stuff, all that stupid stuff that you don't really need so basically I wanted to sh tell you guys that your experience is not going to carry over to the full game now what I mean by that is if you are rank 36 by the end of the beta you're gonna be a rank 1 when you get the full game if you are a rank 72 when you get the beta, or at the end of the beta, and you get the game, you're going to be a rank 1. So no matter what level you are, you're going to be a rank 1 when you get the actual game. It's basically giving everyone a, like a fair chance. Now, if you guys haven't gotten the beta yet because you're still in a, the waiting process because you ordered Gears of War 3, or you pre-ordered it, these are the characters you can get. For COG, you're allowed to get Marcus, Dom, Anya, Augustus Cole, Baird, Thrashball Cole, which is him, which is Cole in his uh, football uniform, and Prescott. Prescott is the the main military leader of the Cog. Um, you can only play as him and capture the leader, and he is actually he is like the Carmine. He's like the Kim of Gears of War 2. He has like really good movement and stuff like that. And now, Locust, you have the Drone, the Savage Grenadier, the Flame Grenadier, the Cantus, Savage Theron, which is basically a ram. He kind of looks more like a ram than a Theron guard. Um, and Myra, who is the Locust Queen. And you can only use her in Capture the Leader. And she is uh, kind of like an Anya. And I hope you guys know who that is, because if you don't, you guys have not been following the series. So... I just wanted to let you guys know that my montage is really close to finishing. Um, it looks. I I really think you guys are actually gonna really enjoy it. Uh, I have a lot of good clips, clips that even shock me that I got. I don't even know how I got them or how the situation happened where I got them. Um, if you guys are not in the beta yet because you pre-ordered the Gears of War 3 version, I just want to tell you what you can unlock. You can unlock a Flaming Hammer Burst, a Flaming Lancer, a Flaming Sawed Off Shotgun, a Flaming Nan Nasher, not a Nancer, a Nasher. You get a Beta Tester Metal, uh, a Thrashball Coal, and a Gold Plated Retro Lancer. Now let me tell you, two of those, what is that, seven things, are the most annoying things ever. And that is the Sawed Off Shotgun as the Retro Lancer. Dear God, do I want to rant about those two. The Retro Lancer is so overpowered. If you're in a close range battle and you have a sawed off shotgun or a Nasher shotgun against a Retro Lancer, 9 times out of 10 you're going to fall over and die. Legit. Because just blind firing that thing is unbelievable. Um, they, I really hope that they fix that. Um, the game, really, they need to nerf that just to make the game more enjoyable for other people. I really hope that they do that. Um, the sawed-off shotgun is also ridiculous because you would think that 
if you're the same distance away from a guy with a sawed off shotgun while you have a Nasher that you'd be able to body them and or update each other or something of that nature and not you guys just kill it like one of you kill each other but that's not really how it works if you have a sawed off shotgun and you two are an equal distance away you're probably gonna die because the sawed off shotgun has more a little bit more power than the Nasher does which is a little bit ridiculous to me I really think that the Nasher should be more powerful than it is but I really like how they did the Nasher in this game they made it so it's not a long range gun like Gears 2 it's not a freaking sniper rifle on your back they made it so it's a pretty much a close range high rate of fire like close shotgun close quarters battle it's kinda like having two guys with spaz 12s on Modern Warfare 2 and they're like across a hallway and that's where you shotgun battle they they really did good with the shotgun in my opinion the shotgun is amazing not that not the sawed off shotgun that, that gun sucks I don't know why people use it the the people that you hate are the people that are using that the retro lancer and the sawed off shotgun shh, I just want to smack those people anyways um I really hope you guys enjoy the beta while it's out because definitely I don't even know if I'm going to be playing Xbox when the beta's gone because I'm just going to be lying in wait for this game and I don't see another game that I could be possibly playing besides uh, I'm just <laughs> I guess posting my gameplays I'm going to have like a hundred saved gameplays for you guys that I'm just going to commentate and put up here while the beta's gone so I really hope you guys appreciate that and I hope you guys enjoy my my gameplays and stuff like that and I hope you guys definitely want to see more of this peace out guys